Sagrada Familia. It is designed by the iconic architect Antoni Gaudi. It is designed to look like a forest when you're in the inside. So the Sagrada Familia is absolutely beautiful and amazing. Definitely make sure you go up in the towers, book your tickets in advance so you don't have to wait in lines, and just enjoy. great market in the Las Ramblas area in the gothic part of Barcelona. Definitely go, definitely save your appetite, and definitely do lots of samples. go through the city park. It's a pretty cool park. Some of it is still under repairs right now, but we're on our way to the Mediterranean Sea. It's a sea, it's not an ocean. I kept calling it an ocean just to get my sister Jane. She had to keep telling me it's a sea dying, it's not an ocean. It's a Mediterranean Sea. And yes, we missed our train stop because the train was too long. So now we're going to, I believe we pronounce the Thibodeau area of Barcelona. We got here by subway, then a funicular railway, and then by bus. But it has an amusement park up here, and it has a cathedral. One of the names is the Expiratory Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And it's actually a lower cathedral and an upper cathedral, so there's two sanctuaries here. And it is crowned with the statue of Jesus, which is the highest point of Barcelona. less than four dollars to go in and to climb to the very top. It has amazing views and even on a cloudy day. ancient cathedral in 1298. It's in the Gothic Quarter of Barcelona and it is still a functioning Roman Catholic cathedral. So this is the Montjuic Castle. It's an old military fortress from the 1640s. And it's got great views of the whole city. You can see Sagrada Familia from here. It's about $6 to get in. And we got here by a subway, then we walked up the hill. 
or you can take a cable car up the hill too. So we're up here at Park Gual. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's where Antoni Gaudi's house is. You can tour his house and see some more of his architecture and see views of the whole city, including the Sagrada Familia. favorite things we did while in Barcelona. We took a day trip to Montserrat Monastery. It is about an hour or so outside of Barcelona. We took a train, then you can take a cable car up or a funicular train up. And then once you're in Montserrat Monastery, you can take another funicular train up to the very top and hike if you would like. It is about $33 for all that. And this is also home to one of the oldest boys choir in Europe and it dates back to 1223. ride up the mountain above Montserrat and you can go to the very top of the mountain and do some hiking and see some amazing views too. So we stayed in a really nice two bedroom, one bath Airbnb in central Barcelona. It cost about $200 a night for all four of us. And we had a wonderful host who taught us how to kiss in Barcelona. It's one peg on each cheek. My sister really liked the demonstration. <laughs> sister put in the wrong birthday when she was checking in for her flight. And she got the dreaded SSSS, which is Secondary Security Screening Selection. She got to go in the little room, but still made it on the plane in time. Definitely love us some Boston, and Regina's Pizza, and Mike's Pastries. Every year we get a free night with our IHG credit card, so we stay at the Kipton Hotel. And on to the airport for some lounge time with our American Express Platinum. Home sweet home, Tennessee. I scared my poor sister leaning over the balcony. Just listen to her. Let me see if I can see it. <gasps> You'll hear it before you see it. Get back in your seat. I'm looking for it. You'll hear it. Oh, the roof is right there. I know. 